today's episode of Press This Hands-On, we're going over how to back up your WordPress install using Backup Buddy, the popular software from iThemes. So we see here we installed the Backup Buddy plugin, and we have a database only or a complete backup option available to us that we can select right from the Getting Started page. Once you click on that, it's automatically going to start doing that backup. And what's really cool about this is you can actually leave the page and let it finish its backup. Once it's completed, you can actually click right in the Download Backup Zip Archive button, and that will actually download it for you. You can download it right to your computer if you want as a physical file backup. Quick reminder, if you like what you're seeing here, folks, please do subscribe to us on YouTube or subscribe to our blog post at slocumstudio.com slash subscribe. If you're looking to migrate or restore your backup, you can go right to the Migrate or Restore section. It actually shows you all the backups you've created. We have that backup that we've just created right there that we can click on. We can either re-download that file again, like we did before, or we can migrate the backup right from this button. When you click on the Migrate button, you're actually going to be taken to Automated Migration. And you can go in here and you can either choose an FTP, like your file transfer protocol, local path, whatever you'd like to do. You can even schedule backups. You can name your schedule, again, whether it's a database only or a full backup. How often it happens right here, we're going to choose weekly. When the first run is going to be or the next run. You can even choose a remote destination. Now this destination can be Amazon S3, it can be Dropbox, you can do it right to an email address. Once again, you can do it right to a file transfer protocol service if you'd like as well. And they have all sorts of fun options down there. If you need to put it right to your Amazon S3, you'd provide your keys down there, for example. You can put your email in right there uh, for the email address where email address is that you'd like to send the backup to. Just click Add New Schedule, and that creates your schedule. There's a pretty big settings page here, too, so if you have any sort of specific concerns, you can go right here. As far as exclusions are concerned, you can't exclude large portions of your website because that would break your website, as you're going to see right here. But if you expand that folder, you can choose certain plugins or themes that you don't want to back up, and you can actually just exclude those right from your backup, which is really, really cool. You can save the settings, that'll save whatever you've changed. And we also have a server options page where you can take a look at all the different, or server information page, I should say. Scanning for malware is also built into Backup Buddy, which is really neat. So you can go right in here just by clicking on the malware scan button. It automatically takes you to this page where it scans your website for malware. It's actually powered by Securi. We talk about the security plugins on our, webs on our web shows as well. And it just as a quick scan, tells you if any of your pages have any malware or anything on there. We're clean, so that's good news. This episode of Press This Hands-On is brought to you by our Slocum Themes, found at slocumthemes.com. Check them out.